Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to again Lauren's Lure part four. Part four. We are in the ancient cistern trying to get down to our buddy down here, the uh, glitching god. Hey, there's something actually down there. What is that? I have no idea what that is, but it seems important, so we have to find a way to, well, I guess get down without, you know, dying. So let's see. Well, the level definitely extends beyond whatever that is. Maybe it starts something, instigates something, we climb on this. It says to go up, so I guess we're going up. Where do we go down? I'm not really sure. Let's go up real quick, see what's up there. As that's where the arrow is telling me to go. Hmm. Nowhere in particular. Oh, I see a bridge down there. That might be important. So let's hop on down and see what exactly awaits us, awaits, awaits us at the bottom. So the music is really loud in my ear. It's really hard to really hear and concentrate all that well. So let's hop on down and uh, see what we can do. So we have these massive statues here too, which really adds a lot more detail to uh, the lore of this entire game of the series. Really begs the question again, why was this megastructure built? Who built it? Why is it so fucking massive? Why does it seem to go on forever in all these different biomes? Now we have the presence of these massive statues adding even more questions as to the true purpose of the structure and I guess to this ancient cistern as well. Let's see if we can hop on down. Oh my god. Got it. Okay. Here we are. Okay, let's head towards the owl. The glitching god, the distorted deity, the owl itself, and see what exactly this object is that it wants us to interact with. What is that? Who's to say? Alright, is this what you brought me down here to do? Or is this just a button I need to press? Well, I don't really know what that did, but... Okay. And top. Oh! It's a little... It's in a little elevator. Otherwise, you just parkour your way over, I guess. Interesting. Two options. Well, I guess we get the nice scenic route. Something tells me we're actually going to need to be making our way backwards then for some reason. Is it another chase scene? That looks a bit intimidating. Why are they standing like that? Why are they... Ancient cistern. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want that. Oh, shit. We're fine. We're fine. Keep her going. Can we make it? Can we make it in time? Eh. I missed. We're still on it, though. We're fine. <sighs> I was not fast enough, chat. It's fine. There he is. Very massive. Who made these statues and why? That's my main question right now. Is, uh, why are these here? Why is this cistern here? Why are these statues in the cistern? Why do these statues look kind of not nice. Almost aggressive, even. One might say. Okay, well. It's a nice little boat ride, at least. Very relaxing, as opposed to the kind of spooky nature of the waste tunnels with the, uh, the ghosts and the lights going out and um, the whispers and being chased by a wall of oil. Almost getting drowned to death. So this is a nice change, you know? A nice nice change of pace. In comparison. So I'll take it. A moment of reprieve. And amidst all the chaos we've been running up against. 
Okay, alright. They are... Okay, they're facing away. Oh no, they're all looking towards a common center, it looks like. What are those? No, oh, looks like we... I think it would actually even be quicker if I just ran along, almost. Maybe? So these ones are all looking towards a common center, it looks like, maybe. You hear the twinkling of a... There it is. I am going to go get that. I've been stationary for far too long. And it's annoying me a little bit. Whip! Got it. Whip! That one? Okay. And I guess I just, uh, chased the, the boat thing. Whip! those and we just start running chasing it oh it looks like a big eye huh yeah I can't run faster than this thing so we have massive sculptures of entities doing the same process we are which is using ice picks which makes me wonder did the ancient people of this reality. Has this been around for so long that even the ancients of this timeline also don't know what's going on? They they deify the mega structure because it's been that been around for that fucking long. Is that the case here? Can I crouch under that? No, I cannot. What? If so, that's crazy. That's wild. Maybe the true purpose of the megastructure really has been lost to to time. Maybe it's been around for thousands of years at this point. Whatever original purpose it served, lost along with those who died long ago. The texts of true purpose maybe also lost as well or maybe hidden somewhere deep inside this entire megastructure that the that he's leading us to and still again we don't know why we're being lured further and further in if this is the manifestation of some AI if this is truly a deity bringing us to some true purpose of the megastructure or to stop or start something up again who knows what All right, let's move on in then. Very big, very massive even. Another eye, another eye shape. Whoa, what is this? Now I'm curious. What is this? Okay, so it's something, either a person or an AI that's at the center of of this all, it seems. They all seem to be in pain. Actually, they're submerged in water, it looks like, partially. But they're all around this individual. Was it one individual, whether this be a representation of an artificial intelligence or someone who has had, you know, enhancements through technology at the center of this entire structure? And this person, this deity, became the one we... Ancient Walt Arthur depicts a holy figure inside a machine. The ones outside seem to be dying in terror. They also seem to be submerged in a black liquid, that same black liquid we've seen everywhere. So maybe this deity... This person inside caused some kind of rapture of some kind. Huh. Am 
Okay, I don't think we can reach that by any means. We do need to go up, though. I see some wisps up there. So I guess we'll go vertical for a little bit, see what we can find. Dumb, stupid, goofy, silly. You know, I haven't seen too many theories from you all about what exactly is going on. So if you want to leave a comment of your own, give me your thoughts and impressions of the nature of the megastructure, of the owl we've been following. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your own theories as to what's going on as to the purpose, as to really anything at all. Give me your thoughts. I hear a twinkling somewhere. There's one. Hmm. I wonder if we can climb up and just grab that. Hello? Can I not climb up that? Bizarre. It's strange. Oh, there's another thing. Maybe I hop off the side there and grab it. Okay, so that moves the thing along. A stopping point, if you would, a way station, if you will. Oh god. What if I do this? And I'm gonna hop around and Okay. I think we all know what I'm trying to do. Uh, fuck. Okay. I was close. Got it. Okay. Alright, we're fine. Let's hop back down and continue on with our journey. And go from there, I guess. Okay, back on to our thing, Majig. Let's go. You know, I haven't scanned those. I probably should have scanned that. I'll scan the next one. It's fine. We already kind of know what it does. Activates our. Well, whatever this is. Okay. A very almost lore heavy, uh, heavy level here. Another eye. So clearly they deified the person inside the machine, whether that be, again, a manifestation, a visual representation of an artificial intelligence, or someone who had taken technological upgrades in order to control whatever machine lies at the center of this megastructure, which has likely led to this runaway. But clearly it's been around for so long that people like us who are just climbing around the megastructure have erected pillars and monuments to it. So long that we, uh, we no longer recognize the true purpose of who this person was or why they did what they did. Why anything exists the way it does. But it's guiding us closer, the owl, to what I assume is this solitary individual at the center of the machine. Some living ghost in the machine, you might say. Quaint, liminal, beautiful, mysterious even. And hinting towards knowledge we've 
yet to fully uncover. But a very relaxing episode so far in comparison to uh, the last one, which is very uh, claustrophobic and spooky. Last change of pace. I think is that that might be our last. Oh no, that's a whole ass man running. That's someone running. Oh, do we get an animation? Do we get a new skill? Upgrade? Maybe we run faster. Maybe we jump higher, farther. Who knows? Is this where you're taking us to? That upgrade, Mister Owl Man? Who's to say? Alright, onward we go. Let's run for a little bit. I'm getting tired of sitting around. Very massive though, a massive underground structure. Granted, they've all been massive, so this is nothing different, but it just feels so vastly, whoops, vastly different from everything else we've done so far. Huh. I am curious as to where we go next. Oh, another mural. Is there one over there, too? I bet there is. What are you? Okay, so it's people climbing to the top up to the eye, so I'm assuming climbing up to the, I'm assuming person inside the machine, this struggle to get to this ancient machine appears deteriorated, looks very old. So again, machine been running for so long that maybe the true purpose of it has been lost and it's now been deified. Oh, uh, we have to go all the way around in order to see that final hieroglyph. That's fine. We'll do that. Interesting, though. Says a lot to how ancient or how far in the future this reality could be taking place. So much so that the true purpose of anything has just been lost. Okay, you want me to go that way, so I'll go poke that way real quick to see if I don't miss anything. Oh, I can jump farther. Jump higher. Interesting. Am I now running faster? I'm running faster and jumping higher. Curious. Got an upgrade at least. Um, what lies over here, if anything at all? It does not look like it. Okay. I just want to make sure we weren't missing anything. Could go up though. Wonder what's up there. Maybe could we, could we go up there? Possibly. Let's find out. Okay. It feels so light now. Running faster, jumping higher. Another hieroglyph. Mural of some kind. Alright, um... People running up to the eye, and now the eye has been... Oh, did we like... Ancient wall art depicting a bright eye shining a light through the structure. The light seems to be sealing a hole in some barrier. Everything in the hole has been scratched out. Why is it sealing a hole in the barrier? Now I'm wondering if this eye is actually a representation of God. And we attained the power of God and distilled it into a machine. And maybe this bird is God itself guiding us back down to free it in order to restore some semblance of control because without God, it's we've devolved into pure chaos. Is that the, the solution here? We had some person imbued with the power of God and then stuck inside a machine? And in doing so, led to the collapse of reality itself. Led to suffering. By taking all the light and reality and putting it into machine. Is that what happened? 
Because now we have actual people here. That almost looks like an egg. Hieroglyphs depicting four monks summoning a shining object. It appears to be designed to seal the hole below. It is not clear what is being sealed or why. And in capturing God, we unleash the black fluid, chaos itself, that's been slowly destroying the Earth. Or maybe the owls are representation of Gaia, and without Gaia, Earth itself dies. Who's to say? Can I make this jump? I can make that jump. Holy shit. I did not think I could do that. Oh my god, we're jumping so far. Do we keep this upgrade, or is it temporary? Really cool we can keep it. But let me know your thoughts and interpretations of the hieroglyphs we've been seeing so far, because this is very lore-heavy. Do we have God trapped in a machine? A God trapped in a machine, or, or what? What have we done? What did we do? Clearly something that... Ooh, the wind is... Well, for a second there, it was going quite hard. Okay. Let's hop over here. How do we... Let's hop over here, actually. Let's grab that, that shiny little thing. Oh, fuck. Here we go. And hop. And miss it. Hop. And miss it again. And make it this time. What? You didn't even try to grapple on, either. Oh, you dumb son of a bitch. I'll get you for this. Got it, okay. And hop. And hop. Are you shitting me? Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's go this way. Oh my god. Okay, this is not going super well. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, and then just jump. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I got it. Got it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. Woo! This is, um, proving to be a bit of a challenge. One might say, we could hop up there. Or we... That was not the... Fuck. How come I was hoping for? Solving the solution to a problem one step at a time. Okay. Now, what exactly do you want me to do here? Fuck. Okay, go up higher. Hmm. Okay. From here, onto here. Onto here. Onto this. And from this, onto here. Perhaps? Maybe? Maybe not? Grab on the here, and that looks to be something. Okay, pathway up. Owl man, guide me. Where am I going? Over there. All right. Well, if you say so. Hmm. Now I'm leaning more towards. Well, the cloud... the Okay, so we had the eye in the clouds, though. Maybe it's not an actual literal god we're talking about. Maybe we're talking about the cloud itself. We coalesced into an artificial intelligence. Something similar to the Ark of the Scythe series by Neil Shusterman. If you haven't read that, I would definitely check that out. Maybe something similar where we took the cloud of information we had and coalesced it into a into a deity of some kind, but then that would explain the Black Sludge, which seems almost more in line of, okay, maybe we actually have a 
an actual god we've stolen from the clouds on high and stuck into a machine. We climbed up the Tower of Babel to God himself. And this is the consequence. Wasn't that the whole story of the Tower of Babel was climbing up to, to God himself and he had to separate man by creating different languages and this could be it. We climbed the Tower of Babel and captured God. Captured a God. Captured Gaia? Whatever you want to refer to it as. Whatever works best, best with your, uh, whatever works best with your worldview, I suppose. Interesting theories, though. Interesting, interesting way. Interesting murals, even. Everything's so interesting now. The remnants of ghosts and stuff, and what have you. It was just some massive waterfalls. Holy shit. It's a lot of water, but at least it's water. But I, I guess I would lean towards this Gaia theory, considering now that we're in an area where there are more... Okay, this is telling us to go down. But, this is telling me that there is a sparkling thing in front of me. Oh god. Can I balance my way on this thing? Okay, so, I don't think it really matters which way we go, so let's just pick a side. And start going down. Buffer as we fall, otherwise we die. But as I was saying, um, with the water being so clean and clear here, it m makes me lean more towards this idea of okay, so we can hit the water, of it being like a Gaia type thing. Because now that we're learning about the god being captured, only now do we have this pristine environment with clean water, which makes us seem more in line with we've captured the deity of Earth, and damn it. Now we are... Oh, we're still here. Suffering the consequences of doing so. Where do I go next? Okay, how do we do this then? Oh, probably do that. Hop over here and climb up. A bit of smarter thing, I would assume. And then we just jump over here and do that. Hop down. Because there's the... Uh, there is the owl over there, and hopefully this doesn't kill me. And hop, all the way over, and bam, we are here. That is a lot of water. So curious. Okay. Ever onward, I guess. Where are we going next, Mr. Owl? Guide us with your glitching light. With your glitching knowledge. You're moving backwards. That's so crazy, dude. How are you even seeing? Alright. Getting closer to an eye-shaped opening, which is curious. But also a massive shaft of some kind that seems to be for mostly venting water when it overflows so that's a little concerning so nice of the mega structure to make it you know easily traversable well that was pretty quick that was only a half hour leaving the pristine complete chapter four so yeah only took about 33 34 minutes four of seven crystals failed simulations 47 total scans four of five so we missed one somewhere i hope it wasn't a mural we missed I guess we'll find out. All right, let's uh, roll on to the next chapter then. Oh, we have a cutscene. After finding such a beautiful place, I expected a revelation. I expected something. Anything but these tunnels. Anything but another five years of nothing. Damn, five years, holy shit. Until...
until what? Until we're back at it again. All right, we may have to stop here for this episode. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Channel members get early access to more episodes of Lauren's Lure as they are being filmed. I gotta grab this real quick. No! Okay, well, thank you for joining. I'll see you all in the next video.